Okay. Hello. Hi, everyone. My name is Josh, and I'm going to actually start this talk with an apology. Not to you, but to Josh Wedlock's English class, Nihama, Japan, 2002. You see, I started my teaching career, and I say teaching in the loosest of ways. Actually, I did start my teaching career in 2002 in, in Japan, and I was so, so bad that my children went out of my class with less English than when they came in. I was so bad as a teacher that if you had children in Nihama, Japan, 2002, you were better off letting them do anything else other than come to my class if you want them to learn English. Sit down and watch the grass grow. Look at the wall. You're going to learn more by doing that. So, I'm going to address 2002, Josh Wedlock's English class. I'm sorry. I did you a real disservice by de-teaching you. I was a de-teacher. I was a de-educator. It was really bad. So why am I here with a room full of close friends telling you all of this? Well, it's because it was this event, not this event uh, per se, the event in Nihama, Japan, which is the genesis of this talk. As you know, this talk is called Get Real. This talk is part personal anecdote. It's part based on experience of being a personal trainer and fitness instructor and an English teacher, communication coach for 18 years in five different countries. And I didn't want to just come up here and give you opinions. I want to come up here and give you some information and some ideas based on research. And as I look out, I can see we've got people from all over, truly international community here today in TEDx, Dongdaemun, Apuja. <laughs> people at home are like, what are you talking about? In joke, okay. So, I can see a truly international audience. So what I'm going to give you, doesn't matter where you are, what culture, what context you're in, most of these ideas are applicable. So what is Get Real? What is Get Real? Well, the Cambridge Dictionary says that Get Real is a phrase we utter when we're telling someone to look at the true facts of a situation. Get Real. But we know it's more than that. We know that getting real is emotional engagement. When you sit down, you have a really good conversation with a friend, and you break down the walls, and the emotional barrier goes down. And if you're a guy, at the end of that sort of conversation, you do the man hug, and you say, they got real. They got real. Because you're still the man. Got real. But we also know it's more than that. It's about action. All of the speakers here, it's easy to say, hey, I'm going to do a TEDx talk. That's easy to say. But when you come here and you're out there, oh, it gets real. <laughs> it's getting real, I tell you. Okay, so get real. Real. Genuine. Not fake. That's real. So this one's all about getting real. And the next five or seven minutes, it's not really for you, because I can tell we've got an educated crowd in here. The next five to seven minutes are more for the YouTubers. Okay? Because you know, you know this, that Get Real is actually based on something we use in education or in psychology, which you already know. It's all about locus of control. Yeah, yeah, I got that. I got that. It's all about engagement. Okay? It's all about self-awareness. <coughs> self-efficacy. 
Even the bears going, yeah, I got self-efficacy. I know what self-efficacy is. And it's, it's about responsibility. Okay? So, for the next five minutes, let me break down the five steps of get real. Get real is actually old school advice for a new school generation. It's like a soft drink, isn't it? Drink, get real. <laughs> old school drink for a new school thirst. <laughs> but it's not a soft drink. It's these five things I'm telling you about. Okay, let's break them down for the people at home. We have got, what did we say? Anyone paying attention? Good, yes, excellent. Let's pretend you call something out. Locus <laughs> of control. Okay, locus of control. Are you responsible for what happens in your life, your successes and failures? Or is it someone else or something else that stopped you achieving? Okay? What you want to do is you want to have, if you can, develop a locus of control, which is an internal locus of control. As teachers, well, I'm a teacher, I don't know if you're a teacher. You guys teachers? <laughs> Some of you, yeah, okay. Don't all answer at once. Okay. <laughs> so, as a teacher, we see this, I see this all the time. Ah, oh, you know, Josh, uh, Failed the exam or failed something because the test was too hard. Okay, well, Mary passed and John passed, so obviously the test wasn't too hard. I think you just didn't study hard enough. That would be an internal locus of control. You take responsibility. Okay, I didn't lose weight, I didn't get fit because my trainer wasn't very good. External. Uh, I haven't lost weight and I haven't really achieved my goal because I really love chicken and beer. Okay, that's taking what we call an internal locus of control, uh, taking responsibility. So the next one is engagement, okay? It's when you truly care about what you're doing. It's when you truly care about why and what you are doing. So I urge you to get real about caring. We all have seen politicians who don't engage and they don't care about what they're doing. We all work with people in the office who just don't care. They don't really even know why they're there. It's a spreadsheet and they've got to do something and really engage. Don't believe me. What I want you to do, and I really want you to do this, is think of a teacher, a mentor, a coach, a person, a friend, a family member who has had a huge positive impact on you. Truly think about it. It's not like one of those things I think about, you know, I'm not thinking about it. <laughs> Truly think about it. I don't even know who this person is, that would be impossible. But I can tell you, I'm 100% sure that that person was engaged. They cared about you, they cared about what they were doing, that's why they had an impact. So get real about engaging. Self-awareness. Even the people at YouTube are like, yeah, I know self-awareness. Strengths, weaknesses, why I do what I do, understanding myself. Well, if this is true, if we all know ourselves so well. Now, I help and I coach people who are doing English interviews to get a job, maybe an international company or a Korean company, and they need English. And these people know themselves. And I say to them, basic question, what is your weakness? I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> <laughs> Okay? So, and then they go, you know what, Josh, you're right, you're right, you're right. I was lying to you. I take on too much responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> and, again, they're lying. Okay? So, get real about understanding your strengths, weaknesses, motivations, and values, etc. Get real. Okay. What have we done? We've done locus of control? Say, yes, yes. Have we done uh, engagement? Yes. Self awareness? Yes. Self efficacy? No. no? Okay, self efficacy is this one. It's believing that you have the ability to accomplish something. Believing in yourself. But it's not just blindly believing something. You have to base it on something. So little successes, 
Coaches, they help you develop. Parents, friends, they help you. So if you're going out to run 10 kilometers, you just gotta believe in yourself. You don't have to believe you can run 10 kilometers tomorrow, you just gotta believe that eventually you can. So you can put in steps to do this. Okay, this is all about self-efficacy. And responsibility. Responsibility is what we all have. We have a responsibility to teach people. That's for me. You might be a student. You have a responsibility to learn. You may be a police officer. You have a responsibility to serve and protect. But many of us don't take the responsibility. There's a big difference between having a responsibility. I have a responsibility to teach you. Whether I do that or not, that's whether I take responsibility. So get real about taking responsibility, not just having responsibility. Okay, but as I said, you all knew that. You're just like, yeah, I knew, I knew all that. And you're thinking, hold on, doesn't that spell L, locus of control, E, engagement, S, self-aware, S, self-efficacy, and R, Responsibility. Doesn't that, isn't that like less R? Less R? Why does it get real? I'll tell you why it's get real. Because if someone comes up to me and says, Oh, Josh, I, I failed the exam because it was too hard. And I go, Hey, man, less R. <laughs> Not so cool. Or if they say, I failed the exam, but it was too hard. I'm like, Hey, man, get real. I'm cool. Okay? It's a little thing you can say to yourself so you're not too harsh on yourself. Because sometimes we're too harsh in ourselves. Because we're not actually understanding the true fact of a situation. Okay? So, get real is just so much cooler to say than less R. But try out whichever one you like. You know, less play R. around with it. Less R, you like less R, go with less R. Okay? It's, you know, we can, whatever you guys want, really. Uh, okay. So, that's the theory. But theory... Without practice and application, is just a dusty book. Okay? We've all got these books with theories, but we don't actually apply them. So, let's go back in time. Let's do some time traveling. Now, it's not real time traveling. If I could really time travel, I would have started with that. Okay? That would be a really cool TED talk. I mean, mine's pretty cool, but time travel? You're like, man, I went to TED, and I went back in time! That trumps what I'm saying, okay? But I can't, so we're going to pretend this is me, Nihama, 2002. And what you need to do is figure out, less R, get real, advice I should have got 15 years ago. You tell me where it fits in. Okay, back in time. That's the best I've got. That's time travel. Okay, with time travel. Do it at home, you can go anywhere. Okay, so we're back in Japan, and I wake up every day, and I get up, and oh, I've got to go to work. I don't want to do this, just don't listen to me. There's no way I can teach them. I go into work, and the kids come in, they've had their sugar, they've definitely had their sugar, and the school's decided that they're going to put all the bad kids into my class. That's what they've done, oh, that's great. Try some games, they don't work. Yeah, lesson planning, I mean, I did it, don't judge me, I did it, okay? Well, Mary did it, Mary did it. And I took Mary's, Mary's Japanese, and I don't understand what she said. But it's got some words there, and I thought, oh, that's what the kids must learn. So, I try to teach them, kids don't get it. They're, it's kids, you know, you know kids, they don't listen. I did my best. <laughs> then the principal called me and he said, Josh, I think you should go and watch Dave's class because, uh, you know, just be good for you. I thought, ah, sharing ideas. Yeah, helping Dave out. <coughs> Give him some of my teaching ideas. Now watch Dave. This guy, he went in. He, kids loved him. He had the good kids. He had the smart kids. Lucky Dave. So he was there. The kids were engaged or playing games. And if the game didn't work, Dave didn't get stressed. Dave just went, yeah, change the game. Because he... It's just trying to build up their confidence. In the end of the class, sat down with Dave to sort of give him some advice. Uh, turned out he gave me advice. He asked me, Josh, do you like teaching? I said, no, but I do like getting paid. <laughs> so he said, well, just 
Put in some effort. Care about what you do. Read a book or two about teaching. Go and watch other people's classes. Video your own class and watch it. <coughs> and it was here that the genesis of Get Real began. So can you see where we can apply this? Let's go back and listen to my words. Remember, L was locus of control. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Okay. Locus of control. Didn't have it. They put all the bad kids in my class. Okay? I'm blaming them. Okay. E4. E4. Engagement. Okay. I wasn't engaged. I didn't care. I didn't try and put in effort. I said, like, I can't do this. Why do I even care? Dave, on the other hand, was awesome. Okay, so we got self-efficacy. I didn't believe in myself. Couldn't do it yesterday, why can't I do it tomorrow? Then, self-awareness. I didn't know that I didn't know how bad I was. That's how bad I was. Mm -hmm. So, that's how bad I was. So I had to become more self-aware. And responsibility. I had to take responsibility for knowing or not knowing something. Doing or not doing. At that time, I chose not to do, not to get real. So, as I said, this is all based on research. Go and look up the L-E-S-S-R for yourselves. I urge you to do that. Don't trust me. No, you can't trust me on this one, but go and look it up, okay? It will help you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the talks. Thank you for listening. Get real. Goodbye.